everyone. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party. I wanted to pop on a few minutes early just so you guys could find me. Welcome. If you're new here, I am really excited to have you. Whether you're watching us live or recorded, we're going to have a great time. And we have a special guest today. To, oh, Joe. <laughs> Joe brought you up early. Okay. That's okay, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Sorry, you guys. Hey, those of you guys that have been watching for a while, guess who's back? Joe. Joe, my nephew, is here. Okay. He took a break from football to help us today. This is going to be our third event with the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. So, if you just noticed, it's just 4.30 now, so I wanted to come on a little bit early so you guys can make sure you are in the right place. Uh, but we are, uh, I'm at my home in Cleveland, Ohio, but uh, the Greater Cleveland Aquarium is here and they are going to talk to us today about jellyfish and Laura is going to join us. Um, I just wanted to get you guys all gathered up and again, make sure I see thumbs up. Yay. All right. So awesome. Again, they are going to join us for this fun, free event. We've done this collaboratively, and I'm just thrilled to do this with them. Okay, Joe, you can bring her on the camera. <laughs> Hi, Laura. <Hello>. Hi. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Laura. I'm an Aquarius here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. Um, we're all decorated for Halloween, if you wanted to kind of come down and see what we're up to around here. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> It's so big. It looks so fun. I want to go swimming. What's in that <laughs> tank? Uh, those are count of stingrays that just swam Ooh. by over there. I probably don't want to swim in there, do I? Oh, they're really friendly. They like to really? be touched. Yeah, that's our oh. touch tank. You can put your hands in there and feel, see how they feel. Wow. Okay. That's yeah, great. So it looks really nice friendly. there. Oh, it's really, that's my favorite exhibit. I'm just saying they're kind of like sea puppies. They're pretty friendly and we can actually do some hand feeding with them. So I'm a little bit partial to them. <laughs> oh, how but fun. I am in front of our jellyfish exhibit today. So I don't know if you can see back behind me here. Oh, that's They're all so lit pretty. up for Halloween as well. So wow. all that orange stuff that you see floating in there is actually food. Um, some of it's caught in their oral arms, which is how they eat. <laughs> so Those I, are I incredible. Them, yeah, aren't they really cool? Jellyfish are really cool species of animal. They're actually an invertebrate because they don't have spines or skeletal structures. Um, they're related to corals, so they're pretty close to plants, closer to plants mm. than they are to animals. <laughs> Um, there's over 200 species of jellyfish. These in particular ones are moon jellyfish. They get the name from the top of their bell there. They have like a clover shape. Uh, kind of looks like four moons that kind of interconnect. Um, they're bright orange right now because they're actually digesting the food that they eat. They're fed, uh, they were fed today brine shrimp, uh, sea monkeys. If you've ever heard of sea monkeys, same thing. We raise ours in the back so it's live food. It's really nutritious for them. And we just put it in the top and they... They're kind of passive feeders where they swim through it and it gets collected to those oral arms. And then it goes, they don't have, um, you know, a brain or a heart or eyes or things that we would think of like normal animals. So they passively digest it when it gets passed up into their digestive system up in their medusa, which is that bell type up at the top. So they're pretty fascinating. They're really weird. Uh, they remind me a lot of a lava lamp and I kind of love them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, a couple of things that were asked a lot here is, what are they made of? Uh, there's nothing to them. If you touch them, they just feel like gelatin, which is where they get their name. They are 90% water and about 10% protein. So the only real things that prey on them are sea turtles. Um, they get a lot of water when they eat them and a little bit of protein because they do eat live things that kind of flow through those tentacles, like I said. Um, they do have stinging cells. These in particular aren't that strong, but some of the species that you find, they're, they're very dangerous if they get a hold of an arm or something like that. Um, these guys you can feel. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It kind of feels like Velcro sometimes if you're real sensitive to it, but it, uh, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm weird, but yeah, I don't mind it at all. 
Do you guys have any wow. questions? Anything I can answer? Well, it, you said a lava lamp. I was thinking of a mood ring. It, so, <laughs> so what what colors vary? Do they change? They like do. Right now, the, um, these are kind of like a clear color. We actually put lights on the top so it shows through them, and we can change it every day. Um, we just kind of pick what we like and what makes them look pretty and what makes them stand out. Uh, I like the pink personally, so that's just me. Uh, you can find all different species. There's orange ones and pink ones and blue ones. They come in almost every color, anything you can find in the ocean. Like I said, there's over 200 species, so anything you could think of. Which, what do you feed them? Um, it's called Artemia. It's live uh, sea monkeys, basically. We grow oh, it in the back and then we throw it in the top and it just kind of goes through the circulation of the water and attaches to them and then they very slowly process it. Wow. And how long do they live? The jellyfish? Um, they're actually, it's pretty fascinating. Depending on the species, they could technically live infinitely. They're the way that wow. they, um, yeah, isn't that cool? These guys are probably about a year. We don't have the infinite jellyfish. I wish we did, <laughs> but they can revert back to that polyp state where they start. If they're feeling stressed or in danger, they just kind of slowly revert back to that juvenile state and then they grow big and then they can revert back to it as many times as they need to, which is pretty fascinating. They're the only species that can do that, that we know of so far. Wow. They need a bottle of that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, and again, we can ask if anybody has a question, Joe would be happy to help get that answered. So if I'm understanding you correctly, they change color according to how you're lighting them up with the yeah. light that you're casting on it? Yeah, um, right now, so the back of this exhibit is blue and then there's a light on the top that we can change any other color. We can kind of make it disco, we can make it half and half and whatever we choose to light them up as is what they show up as because they're almost clear, but they're just like a little tiny bit opaque. So whatever we color we choose, it really pops. Wow, that's amazing. But yet if they're eating and digesting, then they turn that color. Yeah, that's where you see that bright orange because of what we feed them. Um, if if we didn't hadn't just fed them, they you wouldn't see anything at all. <laughs> and Nancy just asked a question. Uh, and again, if you guys want to come on the camera, you can click the link and we'll bring you on to ask the question. But Nancy just asked how long they live. And Nancy, the answer is indefinitely, which is amazing. I mean, I can't even imagine. So yeah, that's I, I think that's the most fascinating part of jellyfish personally. Um, like I said, these guys are about a year because we don't have the really fancy species. I wish we did. Um, I would say the way that they reproduce is called strobilation. So they start as a polyp and then they turn into an ephyra. And then from there, they get to their medusa phase. So if they get to their Medusa phase and they're all stressed out, they can revert back to an Ephyra and then back to a polyp where they will attach to a plant. And then when they feel safe and secure, then they can start that process again. Wow. Delaney has a question. She wants to know why jellyfish have tentacles. Uh, jellyfish have tentacles because that's the way they eat. So jellyfish, they propel, propel themselves through the water by shooting um, water out the bottom of that bell that you see. That's why they kind of fluctuate like that. And those long tentacles dangle behind them and that's, they catch their food on that. Uh, they do have stinging cells on those. They're called their oral arms. They have stinging cells on their oral arms that will paralyze their prey. And then it, they'll, um, through passive nutrition, they'll slowly absorb all those nutrients because they don't have a digestive system like you would think that you would find in your dog or cat or us or anything like that. Um, they're basically just water. So there's no room for anything like a digestive system. Wow. Okay. That's really interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm, can we see them up close one more time before sure. we get creative? <laughs> okay. You want to show them up close? That is so amazing. Oh, I know. I had a question. Let's really, I wanted to know, um, are they full grown right now? Yeah, so this big one that you see right in front of the camera, that one is full grown. They don't really have a size cap that they'll max out as. It uh, just depends on their nutrition. But we have all different sizes in here. 
Um, some of them, you know, there's like a main jellyfish, lion's mane jellyfish that can be, I mean, up to 50 feet long. They can get absolutely huge if you're counting their tentacles. Their bells at the top can be, you know, 15, 20 feet across by themselves. I'm going to ask you a question that I think some people will want to know, especially children. Uh, but I just want to know, do we have those in Lake Erie? So we don't have true jellyfish in Lake Erie, but we do have something that looks like jellyfish in Lake Erie. Um, I honestly don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it looks just like a jellyfish. It's a different type of multi cellular organism like you would see a jellyfish but it's actually a type of algae that kind of just wow. um floats through the water uh you, they're very rare to find but there are some lakes and ponds across ohio that you can find them as you always hear them as freshwater jellyfish but there is no actual species of true freshwater jellyfish so where would we find jellyfish um there is a species of jellyfish in every ocean of the world. The moon jellyfish you can find on either coast. You'll see them in Florida and North Carolina up through Maine. There can be cold water moon jellies, warm water moon jellies. Personally, I've seen these kind in Jamaica. So they're really kind of everywhere. Wow. Uh, Eileen wants to come on and ask a question, okay? Joe, you want to sure. bring up Eileen? Sure. Hi, Eileen. Hi. 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 Uh, jellyfish in every ocean of the world. The um, moon jellyfish I wouldn't say that they're endangered. They're, some species are more rare than others, but jellyfish are, they don't have a lot of predators. So they're really kind of everywhere. So they're not really endangered, and they are used as food in Chinese economies, but not really, people don't really eat them, so they're pretty safe. Hi, Eileen. Hi. Thanks, Eileen. So you guys, I just want to tell them real quick, if you come on camera, guys, you got to turn down the volume on Facebook. So uh, the volume on Facebook, not your computer, because we want to hear you, but you are, they're slightly on a delay. So that's the echoing uh, that happens. So, um, but that was Eileen. And uh, I have another question here from Andrea. She wants to know if they need to drink water to survive. <laughs> Uh, they don't need to drink water. They actually, um, so fish breathe through their gills and they absorb op oxygen through their gills. So you can see jellyfish don't have gills, but they are made of a very thin jelly-like membrane that they diffuse the oxygen through. So they're actually very thin, but that's how they breathe. It's just through their skin. Wow. Uh, and I have some ladies, uh, Emma and Bella and Irina from Florida, and they want to know if you could tell them the most venomous kind of jellyfish um, that you have at the, it says that you have at the aquarium. So oh, we only have this species at the aquarium and they're super safe. So we're really lucky. But in Do the you know wild, where the most, yeah, tell um, us in the wild. I would guess that it's the box jellyfish that you could find out in Australia. It's where it's really prevalent. Their venom could kill a grown man if, you come into contact with it, it's super dangerous. And they're very, very small. So they're hard to see and they're very dangerous. That's the wow. most you know, risky one that I would know of. Um, there's probably other species that I've never heard of that are super dangerous, but I like to stay out of the water, so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give one more question so we can have time to create. Um, and I, and we, I wanna see your creation, but um, Alex asks, do, any of the animals at the aquarium get to eat the jellyfish? No, we don't do that. There are some aquariums that have sea turtles that as a form of enrichment. When the jellyfish are at the end of their lifespan, they will feed the jellyfish to the turtles. It's really good for the turtles. It's super nutritional, but we don't do that here, no. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I know you're really busy and the aquarium is about to close or did close. Could you share with us your artwork? Oh, absolutely. This is the one I did earlier. Can you hold it up a little closer? Oh, oh that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love the tentacles around the pumpkins. <laughs> Jack-o-lanterns. Yeah, it made it look like a mummy. I liked it. <laughs> I love it. And I love how you have the beams of light coming down. So yeah. that looks great. Thank you. It was fun. Thank I appreciated it. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Have a good day. Bye. We're going to go to the aquarium soon. Yeah, please do. Soon. Please come see us.
Thank you. Oh, that was so much fun. Okay, you guys. So you saw Laura's awesome painting and what a great job she did and how she changed it and made it her own, right? So you can do this any way you want to with any supplies that you have. So I am going to use, I'm going to always start with a sloppy copy. So I'm going to use a black marker so you can see it on the camera. And I would recommend you do a pencil. If you have a pencil, that would be fantastic, or a color pencil or a crayon. <laughs> I love these field trips. And I added my friend here. Okay, you guys can help me come up with some names for my friend. So today we're doing jellyfish and jack-o'-lanterns. All right, I start with a sloppy copy. I'm going to do two jellyfish. You guys can have 20 jellyfish. It's totally up to you, okay? I'm going to start with an arch. That's going to be one, and I'm going to do the wavy line, and I'm going to do another one over here. And I'm going to make one of them just slightly bigger than the other. So I'm going to start with an arch, and I'm going to do a wavy line. And then I'm going to curve a line underneath just to make it look like it has dimension so it's not so flat looking. So I just put a little curved line on the edges. And then again, you can do those tentacles however you want. I loved how she did hers around the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, right? A pumpkin doesn't have a face, a jack-o'-lantern has a face. So again, wavy lines. And you can put those little dots for some texture if you want to. So I'm going to do some wavy tentacle lines, maybe some dots. If you guys want to add the bubbles, you can add the bubbles, just little circles, different sizes. They can even go off the edge of the page. Okay, so a variety of sizes. And now I'm going to do my jack-o'-lanterns. Maybe you customize it. Maybe you do one jack-o'-lantern for everybody in your family, right? You could do a mom, a dad, a dog. You can do whatever you want to. You can make, you know, jack-o'-lantern babies. So I thought it would be fun. I want to make sure my brush, my skeleton is holding a paintbrush. I'm going to do one of my pumpkins over here. This one's going to be... Like almost like the letter U. And triangle eyes and a great big smile. And I'll do a little one with a witch hat. And again, you could make it, I think that's really cool to make it like a mummy wrapped in tentacles. I'm going to see if you guys can see my pumpkin with the brush there. Probably not. All right, I'll move it. I thought it was funny holding the brush. Now, maybe you do a pumpkin mouth with, like, two teeth. I know some of you guys are missing teeth out there. So this one, I thought I would try something a little bit different. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. I'm going to do this. Can you tell what that is? Can you guess? That's a snorkeling, scuba diving mask. I thought it would be funny to give my pumpkin a scuba mask. So again, just think outside the box, create differently, do it however you want to. And you can make those tentacles come all the way down so those tentacles are just wavy lines. Now, you could make your jellyfish at more of a diagonal. They could be straight up vertically, okay? You can make as many as you want to. Think different, do it however you want. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on canvas. If you want, and you're gonna draw it out with pencil, draw lightly so that you don't see the pencil through the paint. I never mind seeing the pencil lines. I use permanent marker just so you guys can see it on the camera. So again, I'm gonna start, I'm using 
I'm using 16 by 20 canvas. I would recommend 11 by 14 is a great size. Uh, a lot of the people have the canvas pads, so they're thin. They're like a sketchbook, except it's canvas. Those are awesome. Mine are 16 by 20 because I'm on the camera and I need to work large so you guys can see it. So I'm going to start with the arch. Okay, and then the wavy line, arch, and I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger, wavy line, and then I'm just going to curve the corner a little bit to make it look like it's a little bit dimensional. Did you guys see my pumpkin that's changing colors back there? It's changing colors like the jellyfish. That's really cool. I want a jellyfish. Ooh, I want to swim in the stingray. Was it stingray that she said is her favorite tank? That was really cool. Okay, and some wavy lines. Those are my tentacles, and maybe I put some dots in there for texture. Wavy tentacles. Now, since they're clear, you can make your jellyfish any color you want. So really, they almost look like rainbow color because they're the reflection of the colors around them, the color of the light coming through the water, reflecting the pumpkin of the, the pumpkin colors, or they could be eating and digesting and also that pretty pink color. You guys make them whatever colors you want to. All right, so I have my jellyfish sketched out, and now I'm gonna do my jack-o'-lantern. So I'm gonna do one pumpkin, So my nephew Joe is here helping today. Hi, Joe. And those of you guys that have been with me for a long time, Joe is a sophomore in high school. Unbelievable. And Joe has been playing football. And so he has been unable to help us for a while. But today he's back. So I'm super excited to have him help. So he's the one uh, chatting with you guys. He's the one who gave you the link to come on camera. So that StreamYard link is for you to come on camera. When you guys come on, if you can, again, there's a Facebook volume setting, and you just turn it down so that you don't hear the echoing. You're on a slight delay, so uh, maybe 10 seconds or so. And if you have your volume up really loud, you're going to hear that in the background. If you use uh, Chrome browser that works beautifully. So StreamYard is a program that I use which enables you to come up on the camera. So fun. All right, should I do the pumpkin with the snorkel mask? I love snorkeling. Oh my gosh. It's one of my most favorite things to do. I have not gone scuba diving, but it's on my bucket list. Maybe put some bubbles coming out of it. Okay. Here's my, there's my snorkel. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe that's me and my sisters. I have two sisters. So there's me and Deanna and Darcy. How about that? Or I have two nephews and a niece. So that could be Joe, Richie, and Rachel. All right, there's my sketch. Now I love to paint. I use acrylic paint. You guys can color this in with whatever supplies that you have. So again, your jellyfish are transparent, so they could be any, you could leave them white if you want to. Your water can be light blue, it could be white, it could be, you know, green, like that greenish ocean blue, whatever you want to. So I'm gonna start with my water, okay? And I'm gonna go around my pumpkins. I'm gonna do a light, uh, lightly around the tentacles. I really like the way Laura did the sun rays coming. She had hers kind of beaming down. So if you want to do that, this one, I just had my brush stroke kind of go in a circular motion. But here, if you want it to look like the light beams are coming down, you would do vertical. So all I did is touch my white paint and my blue paint, and I'm doing some vertical lines. Okay, you can make them diagonal. I'll do it like this. So you could do a diagonal and then it would go vertical and then diagonal that way. 
And if you're coloring with crayon, again, you can use a light blue crayon. A, a nice pretty turquoise would look great. Turquoise is like a blue green. So that's what I mean when I say make it your own. You guys can change it up however you want to. <laughs> I love field trips. Oh, gosh. I have to tell you guys, field trips were one of my favorite things in school. It didn't matter how old I was, and it really didn't matter where we were going. It was just a way to explore the world. I can't even tell you a bad field trip. I do remember in fifth grade, we were going to Camp Isaac Joe's, and I would not go. I would not, because it was, it involved, I believe it was like a weekend or a week, I can't remember. And I was homesick and I, I just refused to go. And they tried so hard to get me to go. And I was just like, no way. Yeah. Now I'm there in a minute. But, you know, when I was little, I would not want to be home, away from home overnight. So that was the one field trip that I missed. But everything else, I went to. I'm trying to think of. Oh, I remember going to the aquarium when I was little. I love the aquarium and the zoo. Oh my gosh, I love going to the zoo. I do remember as a little kid being like, oh my gosh, it's so much walking. But the monkeys, seeing the monkeys at the zoo. And they did have an aquarium at the zoo too. Now, when I get to this point, I'm going to do the background with the light blue and then I'll paint the tentacles over it. But I want you to make sure that your paint is pretty thin so it dries quickly. Or you can just leave it and the white of the paper and just color your tentacles in. But I am going to give it a nice light blue coat. And I am actually just going to paint right over my bubbles, and I'll add them in later. I'm going to paint around the jack-o'-lantern, lantern, my little snorkeling guy. So you can see the, the blue starts to fade. So I just put a little bit more blue on my brush. So when you add white to a color, it's called a tint, T-I-N-T. -I so I have tints of blue here. Because I'm just using blue and white. And again, if you're using colored pencil or oil pastel, you can try mixing colors. You can try mixing the blue and the white. Or you could just find a really good color that you want to make your water. So they were talking about, Laura was mentioning box jellyfish in Australia, which are the most venomous jellyfish. And I, I went to Australia last summer. I took a class there on sustainability and I got to study at the aquarium in Australia. And I actually did see box jellyfish, but did not have a personal encounter with one. Thank goodness. And I did snorkel there. And you know, they have the opposite seasons than in Cleveland. So I went in July and it was their winter. So their winter in Townsville, Australia, where the Great Barrier Reef is, where I studied, uh, it was in the 70s, gorgeous. And that was their winter in July. And it was so funny because the beaches were empty. I'm like, where is everybody at? And they're like, it's winter. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's so beautiful. This is, to me, that's the perfect weather. I got to swim with a shark. It was awesome. 
one day again. All right, how's your background coming? Yes. All right. So sorry, guys. I'm reading the comments. So you guys, we're recording right now live. And yes, this will be on Artist at Heart Paint Party Facebook page and YouTube. So you can watch it on either place. It will be up there. It's free. You can watch it at any time. I have a full website, artistatheart.org. So Eileen that came on earlier, Eileen has been with me really since the beginning. I know Eileen, you moved. I got to ask you about your move. But um, for those of you guys that do not know me, I am a Clevelander, born and raised. And I was a Cleveland art teacher for 20 years. And I started my own art business five years ago, mostly you know, uh, virtual, I'm sorry, no virtual, no virtual, no virtual, <laughs> all in person, private parties, house parties. Okay. I would do corporate events and team building, lots of school events. And, um, I would teach them how to paint and do different things. And then, you know, good old COVID came around and I did go virtual. So now I have been virtual and, I have been doing this since March 16th. That was our first time. And now I have a subscription program. We have so much fun. I'm going to do the pumpkins next. So, or jack-o'-lanterns. So I'll do the jack-o'-lanterns and then I'll do my jellyfish. So I'm then I'll give it a little bit of time to dry. I'm going to do my jack-o'-lanterns, orange, red, orange, yellow, orange. Yay, all of us here. So again, a lot of the people that you see are, have been here with me for a while, again, since March. Uh, and now we have a subscription group. So the subs uh, subscription group includes all of the events plus over 100 recorded videos on the website and an art app and in our private Facebook group. That's where we go live and we have lots of arts and crafts and we have printable template outlines and we have fun. So I'm doing a few in person things, but not many. So there's the orange. If you don't have orange, you can mix red and yellow together. You always want to mix more yellow than red. You're going to always want to add more of the lighter color than the darker color. And again, if you're mix using crayon or color pencil, you could try mixing stuff together. <sighs> Thanks, Susan. I love your kind words, you guys. Thank you. I love you guys creating with me. Susan has been, again, is a member and has been creating with us for a long time. And I love, I love when she shares her artwork. I love when everybody shares their artwork. So I highly recommend when we're done and when you're done, whether you're watching this live or recorded, you can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party and post your artwork. We love seeing everything there. If you can't find it, the check-in button, you can always post your painting under this video in the comment section. But if you guys post it on the page, then everyone can see it, which is awesome. Okay, so again, I just did that orange. But if you want to add, you know, some different like red orange in there to get make it not so flat, you can put some red orange in there. You can put some lines in there, whatever you want, okay? So while I have 
the orange on my paintbrush. I'm gonna leave my pumpkins alone and let them dry and I'm gonna jump up to my jellyfish. So I like to paint from light to dark. And if you guys look, now I started with the water, but if you look at my jellyfish from light to dark, it would be like the white and the yellow that would be first. So I'm just gonna scoop up a little bit of white on my paintbrush. And people always wanna know like a size of a paintbrush, but it really just depends on what you're using, what size you're using. So obviously, if you're working really tiny, you wanna use a smaller brush or even a colored pencil. And if you're working large, you're gonna use a bigger brush. But I think it's pretty hard to paint small, like eight by 10. I always tell people go bigger than eight by 10 because it's, think about it. The smaller you work, the more fine motor you need. So it's actually easier to paint larger, but it could take you a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's really relaxing. As long as you just quit worrying about what it's going to look like and have fun. Because, you know, you could do it again and do it again and do it again. And you could do it over and over until you love it. Make them as gifts. Now, this artwork, of course, we're doing because Halloween's almost here. Did you see my pumpkin? But you could always make a jack-o'-lantern, or you could always make a jellyfish painting without the jack-o'-lanterns. You could do it again without the jack-o'-lanterns, and it could be your jellyfish painting. You could put a mermaid in there. You could add a mermaid tail. We're, uh, I know Caitlin's here. Caitlin had a paint party, and... We did mermaids, and that was really fun. We did it in her backyard with her friends for her eighth birthday party. So again, if you want, if you love mermaids, add a mermaid. You, maybe you just have the mermaid tail coming into the painting. You could add little fish in here. So I just went, I didn't even wash off my brush. I just jumped from the yellow to the orange and my paintbrush is following the shape of the jellyfish. So it's kind of curved, right? So no matter what supplies you're using, you can kind of curve it. You can kind of color in that direction. Maybe add a little bit of white in here, give it a little highlight. So I'm gonna go from yellow to orange. You could do pink. Boys are like, I'm not using pink, Bleh, pink. Or maybe not. I, I think my nephew Richie loved pink. I don't think Joe would use pink. Joe likes blue. Now, if it's starting to look too stripy, mix it together a little bit more. I don't want it to look like a flag or a rainbow. I want it to be blended together. And again, I'm going to put a little pink in mine. I like pink. Maybe a little red. Magenta. And again, you can put a little, I'm not, I just scooped up my brush and I put some white paint on it, but I'm using what, look at all these colors on my brush, right? So I just, I think it's really cool when you don't know what you're going to get and you just get a mix of color. And I'm going to hold this up close to the camera so you can see it. Look at that. You see that? So I didn't plan that. I just put some white on there and every color that's on my brush came out. I think that looks pretty cool. So it's an experiment. I don't always know how my painting is going to come out. And it's not going to look exactly like the one I already did, even though I did it. It's going to be different. And that's the cool thing about art. So just let go of whatever it's going to look like. And I'm just painting a little bit this underbelly part, just a little bit, because I want to put my lines there, my tentacles. Okay. Let's do the green on the stems, or you can make your stems a different color. I'm going to do green. If you don't have green paint, which I don't, so if you guys haven't seen my plate yet, look at my plate. Okay. If you don't know this about me, I'm messy. People that know me 
Now I'm pretty messy. You guys that have been watching me know I'm messy. So take a guess. Hey, Danny. Joe's going to give you the link. Yeah, Joe's going to give you the link to come on camera. So you're going to make blue for the stems. And you're going to come on in a little bit. Let me get this done. I'm going to mix yellow and blue. Now remember, you always want to add more of the lighter color. That means I need more yellow and less blue. And if you want it to be light, you can add white. But I need more yellow and a little bit of blue. And I'll get green because I forgot green. But again, green you can make if you have the primary colors. So the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. So that green is really close to my watercolor, so it's kind of hard to see. But I'll outline it in a little bit. I'll give it an outline so you can see it better. All right, so I'm going to do this one, st the stem green. Can you see that green? I'll hold it up. So that one's green. So again, you don't have a strong contrast because green and blue are pretty close together. So I could outline it with black or I could change the color of it. I could put lines in there and then I'm going to do a witch hat. So let's do my witch hat. Do you have to do a witch hat? No. And again, normally I would do the black last, but I want some of those tentacles to go over it. So I'm going to do my black hat. Don't make the paint too thick. And you can color in the face. Again, even if you're painting, you could color in anything small with the marker. So you, you could use a combination of supplies. So if your face on your painting is really small, use a Sharpie or, you know, a, a regular Crayola to color it in. You don't have to paint it in. I don't want to do that black. I, I got to think about what color. What color do you guys think I should use for the scuba mask. Maybe purple. Purple would be a good color. And I'll put my bubbles in it a little bit. So okay. So these paintbrushes that I've been using, these are called round paintbrushes. A round paintbrush has a point to it. Do you see that? So that's a round paintbrush. You can really use anything that you have. Yeah, Nancy says I should use purple, so I'm going to use purple. Purple, 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 dark blue, hot pink. Let's try purple. I don't have any purple yet. I'm going to add some of my um, tentacles. So I'm going to just put different colors on for my tentacles. So I have hot pink on there now. It's so funny how sometimes the colors look different. Eileen's going to come back on. Eileen, try to lower your volume on Facebook before you come on camera. See if you can do that. See if you could, not the computer volume, but your Facebook volume. That way we won't hear the echoing in the background. Okay, there's my tentacle. My tentacles. Joe, do you want to bring up Eileen? Hi. Hey. Hey, Eileen. Hi, this is my start of my painting. Oh, you put a heart. I put it a heart in the middle. And I have a name for um your jellyfish. What's my name? What's a good name? Jelly and peanut butter. I love it. Jelly and peanut butter. That is so cute. And I love that you have love on your shirt with the heart that you painted. <laughs> That's great. I really like the heart necklace. Oh, that's so nice. And I'm so I, happy that you got to join us. And also, I have like these markers, and I'm using for like my tail for my oh, um, jellyfish. 
and they're like Corolla paint markers. I you love have, them. You have some? No, I don't have those. <laughs> How long have you been painting with us? Um, I this is my first class in a long time. I know because you guys moved. Yeah. And then school started. So when, do you remember did your first painting you did with me? Yeah, it was the tree, I think. It was the tree. So that was, I think that was March 17th. Yeah. I I also remember the um the elf we did. Like oh, yeah. uh for for St. Patrick's for, Day. For St. Patrick's Day. Le, it was a little leprechaun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm so happy you're doing so well, and thanks for joining us, and join us again. Okay, bye. Bye, Eileen. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, I was playing with my skeleton before, and it just kind of fell. So if it collapses, but look, trick or treat, smell my feet. I want something good to eat. This is the skeleton leg, okay? I was trying to prop it up here, and it just fell over. So if you hear a big crash, that's my skeleton. All right, I don't know if that's proper these days to sing a song like Smelling My Feet, but it's not mine, it's it's the skeleton. But I love peanut butter and jelly. One, I love peanut butter and jelly. And two, I love that name, peanut butter and jelly. I think that's very fun. So let's finish the tentacles. And again, I loved how Laura did those white tentacles that wrapped around her pumpkins. That was a great idea. All of us here. Alba. Hey, Alba. Hi. Hi. That looks great. So you love jellyfish? Mm-hmm. Did you name yours? No. 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 Do you like the you like peanut butter and jelly name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard it. It was funny. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Flanagan's. I made oh, I, this. Oh, that looks great. Hi. Hi. I broke my arm. Oh, oh, no. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Are you able to create art? Oh. It's a it's a heart jellyfish. Love you. Ah, oh, that's so cute. You know, that's what you're supposed to see. Mom, but that's the type of the stuff. Papa, show how you paint it. I got this. And wow. That's that's black. We it's have kind of a, It's kind of scary. Yes. You guys have a, a dark jellyfish. Wow. <laughs> A bat rock. That looks great. It's a bat it, scarecrow. It's a, a bat, bat scarecrow. scarecrow. Oh. Emma wants to show. I think she got it. You guys have a lot of paint. <laughs> My name's Gavin. Mm. Hi, you have a guest. That's a visitor. <laughs> what baby said? Oh, you're babysitting? My Devin, are you? Everyone. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Danny, are you there? Danny's Danny's screen is black. Hi, Danny. Hi, Caitlin. Oh, you're turn your sound on. Oh, Caitlin. Oh, Joe, can you bring her back on? Oh, she disconnected herself. Oh, bring up Reagan. Hey, Reagan. Hi. Pretty. I love the pastel colors. Thank you. Looks really nice. Do you guys have a lot of jellyfish there? Um, uh, after the hurricane, there was some that were washed up on the beach. What'd they look like? Uh, just like 
watery blobs. <laughs> Here's mine, Denise. I'm Ooh, I love that background. That looks great. Thanks. Good job, guys. Uh, it looks like it looks like a sunny day. I have some starfish. Oh, from after I, the hurricane. There. Wait, you found that? Yeah, there's a bunch. They oh my gosh! You apart. found those on the beach? Yeah. Wow. I mean, sad that they died, but that's pretty incredible that you found all those. There was like a thousand, but most of them are broken. These are like the best ones. That we wow. Can. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So you didn't bring any? You didn't bring any jellyfish home? No. Oh, that looks great. Come close. Can you come closer? I just haven't done the face on the yellow one. Yet. Oh, it's a st I, the stack of pumpkins. I love that. I couldn't tell what that was. Yeah, that looks awesome. What? I did. Here's oh my that. gosh, that looks great. Look at that fence. That I should I should call it a gate. The creepy gate. That looks great. Thanks. He did it to look like the haunted mansion. <laughs> I love it. That looks amazing. Thank you guys for joining. Thank Thanks, you. Denise. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, Hi. girls. This is Masha Stage and Cora. Hi. Yes, I, what you... I love that. And oh my gosh, I love those colors. And then I have a a little thing. Oh, ankle with bubbles. Yeah, that's Tasha's. I actually tried to make my jellyfish look a little like a pumpkin. Oh, I like it. That's why it's so round on. It's like half pumpkin, half jellyfish. That's really cute. Thank you. I love that. And That's a great idea. Nine. They put two jellyfish, and that one's one, and that one's six. Aww. And, and said, you know what? You can have, you can have 106. She said put them together, and she, there were 16. Her mom's 16. Their mom is. The jellyfish is. <laughs> That's awesome. And did you know? Here she said that jellyfish could live infinitely. That means they could live forever. Thank you. That's, that's kind of crazy. Thanks, girls. I love the way you guys were doing the combination of jellyfish, half jellyfish, half pumpkin. That's really creative. Hey, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin, turn your sound on. I drew. Oh, there you go. I drew. That looks great. I love that. Come closer. What did you make that out of? Um, what did you make out of it? I um I made paint. Paint? Is that watercolor paint? Yeah. No, it's like it acrylic. It's acrylic. I mean. It looks really good. I love your colors. Thanks for creating with us. Bye, Benjamin. Oh my gosh, Caitlin's back. Come on, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Let's see what you got. Oh, that looks amazing. He's so cute. You made a lot. <laughs> and I, I love the way you mixed the blue background. It looks like kind of like a blue and a purple together. Is that what you did? Yes. Are you going to add a mermaid to it? I know you like mermaids. Uh. I want to see. You're going to see. Good idea. Thanks for creating with us. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Emma and Bella from Florida. Hi, girls. Hi. Uh, hi. This is. Oh, that looks right. great. And what has a. Oh, it has a baby bow. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, baby jellyfish. With a baby for both of them. Baby jack o' lantern. I haven't put the face on it yet. Um, and baby jellyfish. Um, and yeah. So, so these are my it. jellyfish, and I put one jellyfish holding a pumpkin. And yeah. Oh, that's so cute! I love how he's holding the pumpkin. There's gold. I got it. 
Well, then in the actual jellyfish, might be hard to see, but yes. And I love that the pumpkins are going for a ride on a jellyfish. Oh yeah, very happy about it too. <laughs> and here in Florida, we have these special cool kind of jellyfish called Cassiopeias that um, they- They float upside down sort of, like on the bottom float. of the ocean, not float upside they down. They don't the float upside down. They, um, they sit upside down on the bottom of the ocean or on the bottom of the shore. Or whatever. Uh -huh. And they look and like flowers. Think, and they, their tentacles look like flowers. So they wow, can. that's really cool. And they're just in Florida? I think. I, I don't know. It might be everywhere. <laughs> in, not, in, not in Lake Erie. We don't have those. <laughs> yeah, and they look really cool. Yeah. And when you see them, can you do you see them in the water? Do they look clear? Yeah. They look, they look clear? They're translucent. Well, translucent. Very cool. I, I think jellyfish are pretty cool as long as they don't bite me. I think they're actually yeah. okay. Thanks, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Heart. Heart. I don't, heart. I have my, hold on. I got paint in my hand. I got to do heart. Wait, I'm so afraid I'm going to heart. Look at what I just did. I stuck my finger in the blue. Okay. So let's see. All right, you guys, let me, oh, there goes the leg. All right, let's just hope the rest of it doesn't fall over. See, trick or treat, smell my feet just got stuck to me. Now, let me finish. All right, so it was recommended I use purple. Now, guess what? Who doesn't have purple on their plate? So let's try making some purple so I could try some red and some blue to get a good purple. I'm going to do his snorkel mask. It, it probably looks gray on the screen. It's so weird sometimes on the computer how different they look. Does that show up? Because that's like a purple. I'll try some magenta in there too. Let's do this part magenta. I know that'll show up. So that has contrast, right? Here's my snorkel. I loved the whole idea of the tentacles wrapping around the jack-o-lantern. And again, you can make your tentacles any colors you want to. You can make them white, make them look transparent. I loved the way you guys changed it up and did your own thing. And again, you could add fish. You could add seaweed, you could add seashells, you could add starfish. Let me see what else could I add. So the, we really, really try to stress making it your own. Things you love to do. So let's just say, what if I added, not even the whole thing. Maybe I add um, just a mermaid tail. She's just floating by. She's just passing by the jellyfish. Right? Because this is your artwork, so you should make it your own. You can have fish coming off of it. Again, you can have tentacles. Ours are nice. We, we want to make ours nice. Now, maybe the some of the kids want to make it where there's a shark in there, right? Na, 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 na. Oh, bubbles. Let me show you guys how to do bubbles. So once you get it to where you like it, all the different colors of the tentacles, And again, if you want to outline it to make it stand out, you can do that. But to do bubbles, you can use the handle of your paintbrush and dip it in your paint and do dot, 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 okay? Or you can use a cap of some kind. Let me see if I have a cap around here. Okay, you can use a cap, maybe a drink cap, and dip it. And I'm using the paint cap because that's what I found. And press. Okay. Can you? I'll hold it up close. So you take the end, not the not the solid circle. I'm taking the end that's open, and then you can make your bubbles go off the page. So.
So it's going to show up where it's darker. Oh, Joe, we got somebody else. Marky. Marky J. Somebody say, hi. Mar say hi. Is it Marek? Merrick. Yep. Merrick. Hi, Merrick. Hi. Let's see what you made. We're still working on it. Okay. A nope. work in progress. Uh, where's the camera? Oh, there it is. That looks great. I love your little pumpkins. Thank you. Are you going to put a face on your pumpkins? Yep. Uh, you can see them there, right there. Let's uh, see. You can't see this one, but you can see this one. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see it. That looks great. You know what you could do when it's dry is you can go over it with a black marker. You don't have to use paint. You can use a black marker. Oh. But you got to let it dry. Oh. You have to promise you have to let it dry, okay? Okay. Well, thanks for creating with us and keep going. I will. Thank you. Thank you. So, you guys, you don't have to be done when I'm done, okay? You can work on this all week, right? You can work on it now. You can work on it again later. You can work on it, you know, whenever you want to. So I just wanted to finish showing you guys some bubbles. And again, look at my bubbles. Are they solid white? No. See, look, at, there's like different colors. Because guess what? My white didn't stay clean. Look at, first of all, look at my plate, okay? It's got all different colors on it. And my white especially has different colors mixed in it. So, find different size caps, or you can always draw the bubbles. You don't have to use a circle. You know, you can draw them out. You can sketch them out. And again, if you're doing areas that are really small, wait for your paint to dry. It's called patience. That means take your time, go slow, and then you can go back over certain areas with crayons, with markers, with colored pencils. You don't have to do the little details with paint because it's kind of hard to paint that small. So again, you have to be patient, let it dry, and then go back into it and add stuff. Okay. I love to paint though, but again, mine's really large. So mine, you guys, is 16 by 20. So again, I like to draw large. Let me see what else I have to finish doing. Maybe I should outline some of it. So I'm just gonna show you the difference when it's outlined. Let's make sure everybody's good. Are you guys all having fun? Ah. Megan Lawrence, you should come on camera and share that beautiful artwork. She's watching with us. I think some people are shy. Okay, so if you're new, you guys, which some of you are new, but the ones that who come on and have no problem, they've been doing this for a long time, okay? But we all learn together, and trust me, it didn't go that well in the beginning. So it's a practice, right? So this is what you do. You click the link, and the link brings you into a waiting room. And then Joe brings you up on camera if you want to. So I'm going to outline mine. And again, I love when you share. The only thing we recommend is that you turn the volume down on Facebook so you don't have the echoing sound because you're on a slight delay. So real quick, let's outline mine. So I'm going to outline, outline my little scuba guy here, okay, just so you can see his mask better. So here's his mask. So I, I don't mind a scuba mask. The the to be a scuba diver, like and wear the oxygen tank, that kind of scares me. I haven't had the courage to do that yet. But I did snorkel. I like snorkeling a lot. See now that I outlined it, you can see it better. Oops, I just flung a piece of black paint. Maybe you add some lines in the stem, right? Maybe you outline your pumpkin too. It just changes the look. And again, your little snorkel guy could have some bubbles coming out of it.
You could write a story about your artwork. You can make a card with it. You can give it to someone as a present. Look at my little mermaid tail over there. Let's see if I can make a little design on here. Now, if you, you know, don't want to paint your mermaid on, you can always make a mermaid on construction paper or something else and then cut it out and glue it on top. So before we wrap up today, I'm going to have a couple more people. There's a couple more people that want to share their artwork and then we're going to be done. So, hey, Kaylin. Hi. You want to show us what you're doing? Hi, yes. Joy. <laughs> Oh, they came out so cute. Are you still working on it? I love your colors. They're really pretty. They're very soft. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. You have a question? Oh, there she goes. Sorry, Joe. All right, Ali. Um, I, I made um this. Oh, I that's a great color. idea. So tell us, you use a paper plate and some construction paper? Yeah, I didn't really use construction paper. Like when I went to school, they gave me all this cool stuff and it's origami paper I used. Ooh, I love origami paper. And also I added a mermaid too. Oh, that's very nice. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Let's see, Toby's here, Joe. Hi, Toby. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. That okay. is beautiful. I love your colors. I love, so it, when you mix paint like that, it's called bleeding. So your paint bleed, was bleeding together. That looks really cool. Tell her, what's your favorite thing at the aquarium? Jellyfish. Jellyfish? What do you, why do you love jellyfish so much? What's your favorite thing? Because the head is gooey. Yeah. You told her thank you for letting you paint today. Thank you for letting me paint today. And thank you for sharing with us. And thanks for creating with us. Did you have fun? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. All right, you guys. Well, there you have it. There's our jellyfish and jack-o'-lanterns. Thank you so much, the Greater Cleveland Aquarium and Laura for coming and creating and teaching us all about jellyfish. And you guys, what would fun would this be if you didn't join us? So thanks so much for creating with us, joining us. And yes, watch us live and recorded. So if you want, you can replay this and watch it again, Facebook and YouTube. I will see you guys soon. And thanks, Joe, for helping behind the scenes. Bye, you guys.